Hey, what's going on fellow sports card collectors? The channel is If Sports Cards. My name is Ian and I welcome you to the top 10 sports card polls of the week. This is episode 144 presented by PSA and whatnot. It took a poll of $15,000 to get on this list and we have three honorable mentions north of $10,000. Needless to say, another massive episode in large part thanks to Flawless Basketball. A lot of big, big cards were pulled out of there. I cannot wait to show you guys but before we get into it, a word from our sponsor, PSA. For all you Collectors Club members out there, you can take advantage of their Modern Sports Special for $17 per card. You can also take advantage of their TCG and Non-Sports Special for $14 per card. And last but not least, you could take advantage of their Funko Pop Special for $35 per pop. If you are not a Collectors Club member, you can still take advantage of a couple of their monthly specials, including this MLB ticket special for $25 per card and an autographed baseball special for $16 per baseball. If you are thinking about becoming a PSA Collectors Club member yourself or want more information on that or the specials, I do have links down in the description box below, but I'll just let you guys know they have two options for Collectors Club members. They have the standard tier and the premium tier, which provides you a little more in Fanatics Live break credit as well as 12 months access to Card Ladder Pro. Now that we got that out of the way, it is time to get into our top 10 polls of the week. Well, we'll get you warmed up with some honorable mentions and then we will see what cards made the top 10 list this week. Our first honorable mention for this week comes from Backyard Rips who break over on whatnot and they were opening 2022-23 Flawless Basketball. And this is where legends are made, Kobe. This is what we're born for. Come on. Yo, let me see some foils down below, man. Come on. Come on. Show. All right, we got gold. It looks like Patch Auto. Oh. No, no, oh. no. True gold! Oh. oh my gosh! No! First on the print, true gold! Oh. This is the Paulo Bancaro RPA Gold numbered one out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $10,000, which is twice as much as what his horizontal RPA number seven out of 10 sold for over the weekend. Paulo hasn't had a vertical RPA sell just yet, but the verticals do tend to sell for a little less than double. Given this one is a bookend, I'm putting a little bit of a premium on it as well. Our second honorable mention comes from GP Sports Cards, who breaks here on YouTube, and he was opening 2021-22 Upper Deck The Cup Hockey. I'm behind it. We got a limited logos. Oh my gosh. Holy. Guys, we just got a product hit. 9 out of 10 limited logos of Wayne Gretzky, baby. Holy smokes. That is a five-figure card right there. 9 out of 10 Wayne Gretzky. Holy smokes. What a monster. <laughs> wow. This is the Wayne Gretzky Limited Logos Jumbo Patch Auto number 9 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $12,500 based on what the 8 out of 10 sold for at the end of last year. This is Gretzky's first Limited Logos card since 2015, and his one and only in a Rangers jersey. This card is absolutely amazing. And our third and final honorable mention for this week comes from German Trading Cards, who breaks over on Twitch, and he was opening 2023 Immaculate Football. Hey, checking the redemption. Viel Glück an alle. Luki, thanks for the follow. Es geht an die. Äh, hier, äh, sag mal, dem Kleinen alles Gute. Habe ich voll vergessen zu schreiben. Oh! Oh mein Gott. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! Halt's Maul! Nein! This is the Anthony Richardson Rookie Patch Auto NFL Shield 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $14,500, which is a guess based on what his base RPA out of 99 sold for. T-Law had his version of this card recently sell, and it went for 20 times more than the base out of 99, so that's what I'm going with here. It stinks that this is a redemption, but I am told that the card has already been redeemed and is not for sale at the moment. But that does it for our honorable mentions for this week. It is now time to get into those top 10 polls of the week. 
Kicking us off at number 10 this week is Cardboard 47, specifically Mamba Cards, who break over on whatnot, and he was opening 2022-23 Flawless Basketball. Here we go, guys. Last card, Mojo. Good luck. That's foil. That's foil, chat. Chat, we have foil! Oh, my. Luca! Championship tax to two! Let's go, Marco! This is the Luka Doncic Championship Tags Auto numbered one out of two, and I have this at an estimated $15,000 based on what his 2020 version of this card sold for back in 2022, which card ladder estimates the market value is now just under $15,000 on that card. Another reference point is this is a couple thousand more than where I had Giannis's version of this card just last week. At number nine, we are with Hitman Rips, who breaks here on YouTube, and he was opening 2023 24 Prism Basketball. This is a fun one. First sweat one time. Is there a head there? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is this worth you guys this is the victor Wembenyama rookie mojo number 15 out of 25 and let me tell you what it's worth it is worth fifteen thousand dollars as well based on the last two most recent raw sales of this card but a psa 10 just sold for over thirty thousand dollars one week ago for those wondering about the other Spurs card, the silver, at the beginning, it was not a Wemby. It was a Julian Champagne. This Wemby, however, was hand-delivered to PSA, and it received a grade of Gem Mint 10. So now this is like a $30,000 card. At number 8, we are with F1 Castle, who was breaking on Instagram, and they were opening 2020 Topps Chrome Formula 1 Racing. Looks like we've got gold of some sort here. portrait oh my god this case is nuts this is the max verstappen portrait red wave number three out of five and i have this at an estimated twenty thousand dollars which is five thousand dollars more than what this red sapphire of verstappen sold for the psa 5 grade didn't do that card many favors from a value perspective but i imagine that this one will do at least 5k more like i said at number seven, we are back with F1 Castle, who are still breaking on Instagram and still opening. 2020 Topps Chrome F1. It's been a wild ride. Ooh, that looks like an orange auto. This looks like an orange auto, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up. Buckle up. Let's go! Hammy! Orange auto! This is why we do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you were paying close attention, you might have saw this card in the background of the last video, but this is the Lewis Hamilton Portrait Auto Orange numbered 22 out of 25, and I have this at an estimated $25,000 based on what this PSA authenticated with a grade of 10 on the auto sold for a little over a month ago. I imagine the condition of that card was not very good, and I am told that this one is in very good condition, but with a much worse auto. This card was in the same case as the Red Wave Verstappen, like I said, which is crazy. At number six, we are back with Hitman Rips breaking here on YouTube, and he was opening 2022-23 Prism Basketball, and this was a choice box. EJ Washington Jr. and our one of one Nebula. Should we see what team it is? No, 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 for the thunder. No, 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 no. Anyone seen a Chet Nebula pulled? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the? Here is a big card that evaded being open for an entire year. This is the Chet Holmgren Rookie Choice Nebula 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $30,000 based on what his black gold number to 5 sold for at the end of March. 
Funny thing is, this was pulled in the same break as the Wemby Prism Mojo. After not cracking the top 10 in quite some time, Hitman pulls about $45,000 worth of cards in a matter of just 10 minutes. At number five, we're with Bulldog Sports Cards, who breaks here on YouTube, and he was opening 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. <gasps> no way! Oh my God. Oh my God. That is a monster. Yes! Yes! Wow! Let's go! Oh, I didn't even look at the number yet. I didn't even look at the number yet. Woo! We are waiting. We've been waiting. Oh my God, what number is it? Oh, I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go get a one touch. I'll be right back. What a card. It's to 10. Boom! Big Jimmy D! Boom! Let's go! This is the Connor Bedard Young Guns High Gloss numbered 1 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $30,000. As I am told, that is what the highest offer was after this card was pulled. But I am also told that this one is making a stop at PSA before being sold. Looking at his other sales, this Outburst Red, number 25, did just over $12,500. So I believe the $30,000 offer for this bookend out of 10 is a valid one. At number four, we are with Wem1472, who breaks over on Whatnot, and he was opening 2015-2016 Opichi Platinum Hockey. We got, uh, looks like, what is this here? Is this a seismic gold? Doesn't look gold. It looks more like lime to me. It is a rookie. Good luck, Aaron. Yes! Yes! Finally, we pull for Aaron. Let's go, baby. Holy sh! I have no idea, Aaron, but this is going to be massive. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a massive card. Is this thing numbered? Ah! Holy f Oh, my God. Aaron, go start dancing and lose your mind. Seven of ten, Connor McDavid. Holy sh Emerald Surge rookie. Thousands, thousands. I am telling you right now, that is thousands of dollars, Aaron. Thousands is an excellent estimate for this. Connor McDavid, marquee rookies, Emerald Surge, number seven out of ten. I'll go a little bit uh, a little bit more specific here. I'm going to go with $35,000, which is really a shot in the dark, as the only recent sale of this card I can find is the red out of 149 that sold for just about $2,500 as a PSA 10 a couple of months ago. There's also this PMG green out of 10 sale that I considered of $52,460, which I don't believe this card is as valuable, but it is certainly massive. At number three, we are with Rip Hamilton Rips, who breaks over on whatnot, and he was opening 2022-23 Flawless Basketball. That's Platinum 101, guys. Oh, my God. This is the Stephen Curry Horizontal Patch Auto Platinum 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $44,000 based on what Curry's Ruby number to 15 sold for, but it's crazy how many of his high-end 1 of 1s have sponsor patches embedded in them. Do you think this is something that sponsors pay Panini to use on their biggest cards, or is this just a way for Panini to print another 1 of 1? Let me know in the comments. At number two, we are back with Rip Hamilton Rips, who breaks over on whatnot, and he was still opening 2022-23 Flawless Basketball. Yo, no way. Yo. Yo. It's a dual logo, man. I think it is. It's not. Oh my God, it's a triple logo, man. <laughs> Going a hard life. Triple logo, man. Giannis, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton. For $200, baby. 
This is the Giannis Antetokounmpo, Drew Holiday, and Chris Middleton triple logo man one of one, and I have this at an estimated sixty thousand dollars based on what last year's Jokic, Giannis, and Embiid triple logo man sold for last summer as a PSA ten. I am sure there are many Bucks fans who would love to add this card to their PC, but it's going to come with quite the cost. These were the two best cards that I seen pulled from Rip Hamilton Rips this week, but I kid you not, they could have had an episode to their selves. They open so many boxes or cases of flawless basketball, and I invite you to visit their Instagram page to see for yourself. That being said, it is now time to see what card beat out all of these amazing cards pulled this week. But first, be sure to click that like button for some pack luck. Trust me. Taking down the number one spot this week is By That Card Official, who is a Taiwanese collector. And this was a personal opening of 2022-23 Flawless Basketball. Ah, uh, Logo man, man. What this is the LeBron James and Stephen Curry dual logo man one of one and I have this at $280,000 as that is what I am told they have been offered for the card but they want our help in determining if that is a good offer. I personally think it is based on what last year's LeBron and Melo dual logo man sold for at the end of last year. But this is the dual logo man that you want out of this year's flawless release, and it is likely more valuable than most of the triple logo man. While LeBron falls well within the top 10 of all time, most likely in the top two, Curry hovers right around that top 10 mark. I think it is safe to say that just about every single basketball collector out there would like to get their hands on this card, but my goodness, it'll cost you a small fortune. Good luck to buy that card official on selling this absolutely massive card, but congratulations on pulling it and taking down the top spot in this week's top 10 sports card polls of the week. Pulling a big card like that always comes with the headache of, okay, now what do I do? Where do I sell it? How do I sell it? What do I sell it for? Well, I've got an option for you. Our sponsor, Whatnot, has a marketplace where you can list cards for a fixed price or via an auction and just see where that card lands. There are many collectors on there with eyeballs on these cards, so try it out sometime. Or if you would like a chance at hitting a big card to get on the top 10 polls of the week, Whatnot has you covered there as well. Where there are over 10,000 breakers at almost any given time of the day. You can find someone you like, jump into a break, and if you're lucky, you might find yourself right here on the top 10 sports card polls of the week. And if you use my referral link in the description box below or clicking right here, you can get a free $10 towards your first break. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you to everyone who submitted cards via the submission form. It greatly helps me out and it makes sure I do not miss a big poll for you guys to see on this series. Thank you to our sponsors, PSA and whatnot, for your continued support of this series. And one last thank you to the IFAM for your support via the membership program here on YouTube. I hope you guys will join me again next week right here to see what big cards are pulled over the course of the next week. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell clicked so you get notified when a new episode drops. But until next time, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.